was a month. So if the reason why Sukkot is called the, the holiday of harvest is because at the end of the summer, right before Sukkot, the farmer got all of the things that he wants into his house. In other words, the wheat went in, not because it was just grew, because it just dried and it was ready to be uh, stored for the winter. The fruits came in because they just grew. Because the fruits work differently. The fruits grow, uh, they appear when? Spring. Springtime, yeah. And then they use the sunshine of the, of the summer to be filled with what? they ripen in like August. With like uh, sugar. Right. Because they become sweeter. Mm -hmm. So grapes, for example, and wine, they, they, they brought in all the uh, grapes at the end of the summer and you could make wine. Even that works even today. Uh, when we make wine, for example, we always make it about around Sukkot time, right after Sukkot, or before, depending on the year. So that's why Sukkot is called Zman Simchatein, the, the time of our rejoicing, because at that time, a farmer got all his wealth that he produced from the fields, he was happy, uh, and he had food, and he also had capital that he would trade it was a system where you you trade it if you were a farmer and you grew wheat and uh, grapes and, and olives you and then you had bread and wine and oil and you traded with shepherds people who had cattle for meat and so on and so forth so that's why it says in the Gemara that you do not start asking for rain in the summer. Gemara says the following. Gemara says... What if we live with it? I'm sorry. Like, I understand the context here. It's um, like Middle Eastern agricultural cycles. What if you live in South America or you live in, you know, like let's say in the north, somewhere like Northern Europe. Or if you live in Spain, like where you have a completely different cycle, a different type of climate, a different agriculture, do these brachot still apply? Meaning, because would they, would they be different? For different well, people? of course, right? Because like, you would be asking, like, if someone like lives Australia. in Australia, yeah. correct? Like, it would be in reverse. Um, are the words changed, or because it's redacted and it's uh, Masora, we just keep it the same from how it was written for those that lived in Israel two thousand years ago? Yeah, we don't, we don't today. Even today, we're not uh, farmers, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but this bracha still is uh, relevant to us in terms of parnasa, making money. And we make money all year round. It's not like one once a year we get money. Like they Rosh did. And Sukkot. Well, Rosh Hashanah Hashem decrees at us. But on those days, they actually got the money once a year and then they had to use it the whole year round. Mm -hmm. Today, no, we're getting every single month, and so on and, and so on and so forth. But it applies. Now, if you're telling me, that what about people in the South Hemisphere? They have uh, everything reversed, right? Same, for the same token that we pray using the old text, they pray also using the original text. Okay. Mm -hmm. We answer that. Now. It's kind of, what's the... Yeah. What's the point? If it doesn't apply to them, why would they... Pray for rain in the summer when it's not good for them. Same thing we do the, uh, what are they called? The sacrifices. Like when we read before Mincha or Myra or something. No, the sacrifices the, today. You know, it's kind no, of No, like, but the Shmon answer is really practical day-to-day -day things we need. That's what I'm confused all, about. All the brachot? Yeah. Most of them. No, no. It's everything Actually, I have to find out. Maybe, maybe they do have a river. Does it make any sense? Maybe to them that's called winter. Yeah, I mean when it says in the cedar, when it says in the cedar bakayits, yeah. you say this in the summer. Well, it's the summer months. By them, it's still June, Ju June, July, August, but it's winter. Yeah. So by them, it's cold summer. Still cold summer, but but it's winter. So by them, 
it's totally it's like that it's like they look forward to winter uh, because it's warmer and they're gonna go swimming in the ocean and so on and so forth and Can, come. it's a halacha shulchan aruch so uh therefore <coughs> I have to find out what they do if in the summer, when it's really winter, they say, Barach Aleinu, Tom Tom Motor Lavracha, maybe. Maybe it's reversed. Or they say, or they, your brother or no. Or they pray for like in Israel. Or the alternative uh, approach could be that they are praying, since they were not an agricultural society, uh, we it doesn't really make it or break it for us if there is a rain or not. Right, right, is it going to make your parnasa different if there's rain or no rain? Right? Is your parnasa different? No. Your parnasa no. So really, are we are we really so dependent on rain? Oh, anyway, no. It's it's anyway. It's not it's not because we actually need rain or we don't need rain or we can't have rain. It's more expanded concept of rain, meaning it's parnasa. So then maybe you could say, even if right now rain is bad for me, but I ask for it, because it's good in Israel, that's number one. In Israel it's good right now. I mean, I'm, I'm in South America. And right now I, it, it's winter, and it's, I don't need rain. It's, uh, it's summer. It's really summer. It's hot. But in Israel they need it, and I need parnasa. All year round, so I could pray for it now. If you claim that I actually mean rain, I could always get away by saying I need I mean rain in Israel. And if you'll tell me it's really Parnassa, I could say I need Parnassa even now. Mm -hmm. So either way, your, your slices you have a way out. Okay. I I think that I never spoke about this Charlotte to anybody who lives in Australia. Which I should. But why? Why is it? Um, why is this connected to rain? Barakalena. Barakalena is connected to rain. Barakalena itself is asking for bracha for nasa that the Plus year us. should be good, Barakalena. right? Meaning it should be ag agriculturally good. Meaning but why the crops should grow. We say the mashu was losing more the geshem in the Sukkot time. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm right. getting to it. I'm getting to it. So what's the question? Yeah. So I mean, like it doesn't. Can, Connect together with the other one. Okay, so I think Neg is asking what's the difference between Bare Haleno and Mashor of Excellent. Mashor of Kalenu is rain, right? And Moishatal is Duke. Which starts in the winter. Moishatal is Duke, right? Yeah, and Mashor of Kalenu. But what we started on Sunday is also rain. But with Ten Talo Matar Lebracha, we started asking in Bare Haleno for rain. So we are really asking for rain in two places. In second bracha of Shmona Yesre, Atta Gibor Leolam Hashem, Mashua Ruach, U Morida Geshem. Morida Geshem means what? You bring down rain. And we also ask for rain in Barech Aleinu. Vetental U Matar Levracha. You give dew and rain for blessing. So the is asking, why in two places? And what's, uh, are they the same? Are they different? If they're different, what's the difference? So Gemara asks this question. Gemara says like this. Gemara says also, why do we start Mashuarucham or Geshem right after Sukkot? Actually, we start on Shmini Atzeret. Last day. After we go out from the Sukkah, we go home into the house, we already start Mashuarucham or Geshem. And we don't start Barach Aleinu Matal Matar Lavracha until December 5th. So Gemara says, that we really have to start asking for rain closer to the season of rains. When the rain is really needed. And that's December 5th. So what are we doing after Sukkot? We are mentioning the name. And it works out because Gemara says an interesting thing. That first three brachot what is the first bracha of Shmona Yisrael? It ends with what? Magen, Magen Abraham. Second one, Mechaye Amitim. Third one, Kel HaKadosh. Gemara says that these three brachot are called Shvach. 
schwach means praise to Hashem. And we're not allowed to ask for any needs in those three brachot. We only praise. Just like when you want to ask someone for something, first you should thank him for what he did for you earlier. You also praise him. Um, you express your appreciation. And then you ask. You don't go right away and say, okay, you know, can you give me this? Can you ask? <laughs> <laughs> so, same thing with Hashem. First we uh, praise him in the first three brachot. And we're not even allowed to ask for anything yet. So, first three brachot is called praise. After third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh, and so on, is called bakashot, is when we're asking. So, barech aleinu is when we're asking. In other words, what we started on Sunday is ask, actually asking for rain. What does asking mean? We need it now. But if it's not a bakasha, but it's only haskara, haskara means maskirin, we mention the fact that Hashem will bring rain when we need it. we mentioning it, that He is so strong that He could sustain us. This fits in into the second bracha, which is praise to Hashem. One of the praises that we give to Hashem is that He gives rain. Not necessarily that we need it now, it may be still... Just acknowledgement. It's acknowledgement, it's part of the praise to Hashem. Mm -hmm. When we're already praising Him, it's, and we know that rain is so important to us that we want to include the praise for rain now, even though he's not gonna, we don't want it now. But we're including the praise for the rain now. So in Masha it doesn't matter where you are. Then that, if, you, if you're saying it like that, it doesn't matter. Where you are. Good point. But on the other hand, in the summer itself, in our before Sukkot, the halakha is you can't even praise Hashem for rain. In other words, the halakha is like this, that if before Sukkot someone said, Mashu Aruch, Morida Geshem, he has to repeat Shmon Esra. Mm -hmm. Because you only allow them Morida Tal. But you're not allowed to mention yeah, there's rain. There's no rain in Israel. Not only there's no rain, but the rain is bad. Bad. Uh, at that time. Uh, so, so it comes out like this. In the summer, between Pesach and Sukkot, we're not allowed even mention rain. Not allowed. And if we did, we had to go back and repeat one of After Sukkot, till December 5th, we only mention rain, but don't ask for it. And at December 5th, till Pesach, we mention and we ask, it, ask for it. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that if a person missed either one, either mentioning rain, or asking, in other words, in bracha or barach aleinu, he has to go back and finish one. Uh, and, and finish one. <coughs> My rabbi asked an interesting question on uh, Hanukkah, on Rosh Hashanah, Hanukkah, Shabbat. Somebody, somebody asked him, you, you know how if you miss uh, Yad of Yavu on Rosh Hashanah, you have to go back and repeat the whole thing, right? Um, Only during the day, not at night. Well, only during the day. Only during the day. So somebody asked. So he first asked, if you um, say Barak, like you just said, Barak Aleinu, right? Mm -hmm. No, Barak Aleinu. You said Barak Aleinu. Now, as you didn't say, you didn't ask for rain. Yeah, but if you, if you say Barak Aleinu, the Barak Barak Aleinu, instead of Barak Aleinu, that means you have to repeat it. Correct? You have to repeat that means that. So his question was, what if you said um, one, but not the other? You said one, but, but not the other. Not, you said, let's say you said Baruch Aleinu, but then you didn't say uh, Yalu Biyavu. You have to repeat the whole thing. Yeah. And then the second time, you said uh, Yalu Biyavu, but you didn't say uh, Baruch Aleinu. What do you, do you repeat the, like the third time again? Good question. You obviously. should have taken that. Huh? <laughs> so, the, but then what he was saying that when he was asking that question, he said so, uh, uh, so, somebody else asked me. Um, it was Rosh Chodesh. I said I said I didn't say Yalavi Yavo. You know, so he, so he said so you have to repeat it. So he said okay, but I re repeated it. But again, I didn't say Yalavi. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> then you should pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> 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 He's gonna forget everything again. So, yeah. so, so what did what did you do? You know, the, the third time he didn't he didn't say no, it. No, no. <laughs> third time before you say it, third time take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Gotta recalibrate. You made, that a, you made a note down. <laughs> you made a note down right before uh, molding, cover molding. Say Alaviyavo. So in case he gets there. He can't read it until he says it. My Arabic used to say, if the guy forgot twice in a row, he is patur. He does it. <laughs> <laughs> he don't pray it for that day, you know. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> That's not what I'm is it? I think, no, he meant, I think he meant. He can't kill you. He can't, obviously, you're not. Uh, Right now, you like yeah, you would have said, you don't have brain. The person doesn't have brain. He cannot. I don't know how to find this. Oh, here? Yeah, I'm very new to this. Oh, this is um, this is a safari. Oh, so they don't have it here. No, it does. It does. Oh. Uh, the bottom is there. Um. I turned on the press and shut it down. Oh, here. Oh. It's loading. I think. I I pressed on it. You have to find. 117. No, Bishop Rural. And Oh, I see. What, 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 what letter are you up to? Okay. Anybody want water? Okay. Uh, okay. So, what letter are we up to? Okay. So, start it. Are you start yet? No. Do an intro. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. It's, it's on the topic, but off the topic. Um, yeah. You know, you know the best part, and they say the. Uh, the two different things for winter and summer. Uh -huh. So, how come by the winter it says, Right. right? How come it only says it by the winter and not by the summer? Okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That one line I feel like is universal. No. Which means. Fill our hands with your bracha and multiply. Uh, give us osher from the uh, plentifulness of your of our gift, hands of your gift, right? So the answer is because well, I explained earlier that in the winter they 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 they, they planted wheat and. It was in the process of growing. So they harvested. They didn't harvest it. Harvest means they wait. We, they wait for it to grow. And there is a lot of things that could go either way. Maybe you planted a lot, but may, not everything is going to come up. And even if everything came up, grew, maybe there's going to be some kind of drought or some or some kind of locust or something is going to is going to be damaged. So there's, there's, it's they always, in the winter? They were, yeah, it's all in the winter. They planted after Sukkot. Uh -huh. And then the rain growed it for six months till Pesach. Uh -huh. And then from, from Pesach they harvested. And what it means that you harvested, you already have a ready product. You know exactly how much you have. So the whole summer, they knew exactly how much you ha they have. So in they the winter they didn't know. Uh -huh. But nowadays it applies. Because nowadays we don't do like that. Nowadays the the uh, uh, farmers they also do that. Nowadays, they, we're not farmers. I'm we're not farmers, but yeah, but it but it's still being decided now how much is gonna grow for us. Let's say far, some farmers, for example, don't do a good job, or there is this is some kind of drought or locust comes in the world. There might be shortages of bread, literally shortage of flour in the market. But sure, we don't even know. For a long time, we didn't experience this because we know how to control it. Thank God, thank God. I can't even imagine going to a grocery store 
and not seeing like empty shelves and not being. Ask your parents how they grew yeah, up. Yeah, ask me. I know. Yeah. I remember. Ask the rabbi. You ask the rabbi. Uh, stories in Russia. Yeah, you know, yeah I'm sure Rabbi also remembers. He's also that age. Wow. My, my parents. The biggest, my, big, my biggest problem when I was growing up was not the fact that there was no. Sometimes there was no bread. Sometimes there was no meat. My biggest problem was sugar. Why? If there's no sugar, that's painful. Why? Not today. It's Why? changed. Now okay. everyone's against sugar. There's yeah. a war against sugar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> sugar's bad. Because you don't, yeah. you, in don't land, you don't, in the land of Well, right, right now, when there is so much sugar, we have no war against sugar. But if we, for, Russia, for, for sugar, one week, you live in with Russia, that. Didn't have try to, meat. try to they stop eating sugar meat. for one week. They didn't have tangerine. Uh, no, I, it'll, I'll yeah. have a physical reaction. Yeah. Bro, try not drinking coffee. coffee. If you drink coffee every My day, wife, for some time, she's trying to have a coffee drink. for a couple of days. Eat sugar at all. It's a wrap. No, you drink coffee. She, she trained day. herself. Once in but if someone is uh, used to... Even now, How are you, Yom Kippur? Is that good for her? Headaches? No, sugar. I, can. I wish I could, I could uh, you know, but I don't stop think it's from the eating sugar. sugar. I mean, it's from the caffeine. I wish I we didn't eat sugar, but it's hard, Just hydration, caffeine. Yeah. In the morning, if you had it in the morning... No, no, If you have your coffee in the morning... Why, you have sugar? No, I have to drink coffee a lot because... Yeah, exactly. So, so if you drink, you think you'll you not Honey? like water. No. If you drink water, but, uh, but I like you think that's painful. Anyway, I like, like more body. I like. Uh -huh. I can look I get without, it, but I like it. Hence headaches when it comes no, to caffeine. No, I know. I don't like no cakes so much. I don't. I don't think that's actually. I could go without it. Coffee Sunday. I don't have. It coffee. depends but what type of cake. Like so you're not. I mean, I have two cups of coffee. I have like one coffee at six a.m. when I'm up. I have a cup of coffee at four p.m. Close it. Yeah. Not the arugula. In the morning, I make. I brew my own coffee, and at work, I'll grab some Dunkin' or something. So you drink brewed coffee? Oh, what's the difference? So you, you drink freeze-dried coffee, basically, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the stuff over there. Same, same, same caffeine content. 80 yeah. milligrams of coffee, same crap. I don't think there's a difference. Okay. That was that. So now, it says in Halakha, Dalit. Let's see Dalit. We are Mishnah Brewer, Kufi Zayn, Dalit. Well, the, uh, second page. Two, two second page. It should turn the page down. Okay. Imlo matar Imlo matar Okay. If you didn't say it, you should go back and say. It. Thank you, Maladets. If you did not say matar, matar means. What is matar? Uh, matar is rain. Uh. If you didn't ask for rain, be yimot hageshamim. What's yimot hageshamim? Days of rain. Days of rain, right? Yimot hageshamim means winter. Now we're talking about a Yeah, yeah, good, good. Because it says matar. Matar. There's two words for rain: gish, gesham, geshamim, and matar. Tal matar. Right? So we say in barachalin matar. When What's we the ask for between tal, tal and uh, I mean uh, geshem and matar. Geshem matar. Yeah. There's a difference. There is a difference. Matar is <laughs> matar. There's two types of rain. There's rain that you know, like we have over here, rain. It go like it rains a little bit. You never uh, like, and you don't you don't see it. Living, no, no. But matar, yeah, no, mat, it's not living tosha. Matar is just steady rain, steady it rain. Stays the whole day. That goes for a long time, a right, day or right, two. Right. It's not just summer, comes in like turns and then stops. Right. That's, that's not good. Rate. That's summer rain. Yeah. But matar is a steady rain. Yeah, just it was like, raining, raining, raining. Yeah, but sometimes like in the winter. In London, it rains all the time, and that rain is the beneficial. That's what makes crop grow. Because if it comes a very strong turn, right. it, 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 it ruins the, the very thin stalk. Right. But if it just comes very uh, gently, but it comes steady, it builds up the, the water level and it does the job. Right. So that's matar. If he did not ask for matar, then it says like this. Magzini he has to go back. Afal pi shisha'al tal. What does afal pi mean? Even though. Even though shisha'al tal. Sha'al Tal. Sha'al Tigar Tal. He asked, he, he, he requested Tal, do. Even if he mentioned do, request for the do. But he did not ask for rain, he has to go back. In other words, what this means is that the rain is crucial and do is not crucial. I always, for some reason, I always thought, Baruch Atta Hashem, Mevarech Hashinim, right? Once you say that, you can go back and say it again. 
if you didn't say matar, meaning if you didn't say you the word said it and you went on and then you said, oh, I didn't say, I said the wrong one. I said barakaleno. I didn't say, I didn't say bar, uh, whatever. Right. Barakeno. You said barakeno, and then you figured out that you have to say barakaleno. So we're gonna we're gonna now. Because uh, the end is the same. Hey, hey. Well, why are we bringing up Tao again, in, even in this bracha, Barakalino? Because they go together in bar- Barakalino. Uh, are you asking why, why is Tao, tao yeah. Yeah, Meaning, yeah, I was thinking, is... either we're asking for Tao or we're asking for uh, yeah. Gesh, uh, uh, Matar. Yeah. Why is it Tao? Is there Tao in the winter? Sure. Especially, especially, do, yeah, sure. especially, especially if Tal is not crucial. In other words, if you omitted it, mm-hmm. it's not a problem. What's going on over here? Why are we mentioning it? The fact that we're mentioning it means that it's important. But the fact that Allah is that if you omitted it and you don't have to go back, means that it's not, as important. It's not crucial or not as important. What's going on over here? And the answer is, Gemara says... That Tal is really more crucial than rain, and Hashem will never take it away. Uh-huh. It's built in. In other words, it will always happen. Mm-hmm. Tal. Well, yeah, um, yeah, that's why they don't say it. Good. In, in second bracha. But they do say it in this bracha. Oh, in the first bracha, you mean? They don't say it there. In the first bracha. In the, in the uh, second bracha. Second bracha, but like in the first In the time. beginning, yeah. They don't say word in Tal. They just say, Masha, we're going to gush six, six months out of the year. Yeah. No, 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 no. Six months, they say. But we say Tal 12 months. The other we say, in the, in the summer, we say, Morida Tal. Okay. Do. Mashu. In the winter, we say, Mashua Ruach, or Morid? Hagesh. Oh, you're right. You're right. We don't say in the winter right now, Tal. But we say Tal in But we say Tal in, in Barcheno. We say So, yeah. So, we, so we say Tal year-round. We say Tal year-round. Yeah. And, and uh, the reason why we say Tal is not because we're asking for it, but we're praising Hashem again. And, the, and Gemara says very clearly that we don't have to ask for Hashem, uh, for Tal, Hashem for Tal, for do, because it's, the, 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 everything is dependent, life is dependent on it. In other words, without do, but you could ask an interesting question. Why did God create the concept of do? Okay, I understand where do comes from. Because there's a concept of condensation. Where there is uh, moisture in the air. And then there is a sudden change of temperature. Uh, and therefore, vapor turns into, from warm to cold, vapor turns into uh, liquid. That's exactly what do is. do with the pressure. With the uh, barometric pressure that causes it to fall. The, uh, Okay, so dew does not fall. Dew appears. It doesn't fall. Well, it, the condensation comes from the clouds, right? Condensation doesn't come. Condensation is in the air. Air has a moisture. It's called the humidity. Right, exactly. There is a humidity in the air. Correct. But humidity in the, in the form of a vapor. So hold on. But when you have high yes. pressure, you have high pressure, there's no dew. When you have low pressure, low. So it's barometric pressure. That's when that, kind of, that air becomes liquefied. No, no, but every morning, every single morning, there's dew, no matter what. No, no. Every single morning, there's dew, no dew. matter what. No, 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 no. Ah, that's not true. It, no, it depends on the temperature. No. So, so if the temperature, if there, if there was no ch- change in temperature, then there's no dew. Also, if it's freezing outside, you're not getting dew outside. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, it, it, it has the, to be a moisture, certain range. The moisture could oh, remain in the, in the gas form also. Or if it's too hot, it just vaporizes right away, right? Like mm. when you're in the desert, there's no like jungle morning. Right. right. No, dew, Arizona, desert. Dew, dew is not, not just... desert. In the uh, jungle, there's always dew, because uh, it's humid. Right, right, right. Dew is not... When it says over here, dew, tal, it doesn't just mean when, when the grass is wet. You're saying yes. it comes from the earth? Almost no, I'm not like, saying that. I'm uh-huh. saying that Tal means humidity in the air. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. Mm-hmm. But if we take out the humidity, then we choke. The Hashem makes sure that the ecosystem has to include... Sometimes there's too much humidity, mm-hmm. but, 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 but good balanced humidity is necessary, and without it, it's bad. Sometimes there's a range, right. sometimes there's low humidity, like in Arizona, like, uh, or, the mountains, or, right? or in Colorado. When I go to Colorado, yeah. Yeah. my nose bleeds. Did you ever have it? Bleeds? Bleeds. 
Just because it's dry? Yeah, no, not because of that. Colorado? It's cl- in Denver. It's dry. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I was suffering. It's higher, right? The elevation. It's not well, high. It's not high. It's not higher elevation. So there's like less it's, pressure. It's elevation, but so I, elevation does not bother me. Because the air is thinner, there's less air pressure.